Hello class, I'm back in my lab again to show you yet another technique. Okay, this is probably not as necessary to watch, but it might be helpful. Um, this week you're going to do your first reaction, which is going to be the bromination of transdynamic acid. Um, I hope you can find that in the lab book. If you have any trouble, please email me. Okay, um, now I just did the reaction, and what you see here is um, the sample in an Erlenmeyer and you can see some solid and kind of a reddish color. The reddish color is excess bromine. You're going to actually do your reaction in a reflux apparatus and a reflux apparatus involves taking a round bottom, putting some boiling stones in the round bottom, and putting a reflux condenser on the top. This whole apparatus has to be clamped up and above a heater cold water in the bottom, cold water at the top. I already did this. Okay, I already did this work. So that's a reflux apparatus. So the idea is when the solution is cooking or boiling, the vapor will rise up, hit the condenser, and drip back down into the bottom so that the solvent is retained and it doesn't evaporate off. Okay, so you'll be using that, but that's the only glassware you need for a reflux. I have my sample in an Erlenmeyer, and what I want to show you is a technique I call making an omelet. Okay, um, it's, a, it's a method I used to get all the compound transferred. So mine's just in, a, it's in an Erlenmeyer. You're not, yours is not going to be in an Erlenmeyer. Your sample will be in, in a round bottom. Okay, so I'm going to take this and vacuum filter it. Notice I have a vacuum filtration apparatus set up with a trap, this being the trap. Okay, why do we put traps on? Because we don't want the any backup liquid or vapor to go right into the, the system because if it goes into the system it ends up in the vacuum pump. When you do your vacuum filtration you should use your, your medium sized Buchner funnel or, or Hirsch funnel. This is a Hirsch funnel. The triangular funnels are Hirsch funnels. And the paper that you put in should only just cover the holes. You do not want the paper lapping up around the side so I'm putting it in like that. All right, I'm going to vacuum filter this. You know how to vacuum filter already, I'm sure. What you want to do is make sure the paper's covering the hole. Make sure the vacuum's on. I already have the vacuum on. And I'm going to pour it through. Okay, now I'll bring it down a little lower so you can see it. It is very, the crystal is very orange, as you can see, because I had excess bromine in there. Now I'm going to take a little bit of water and rinse it off. I'm just going to get a little water. Okay, to clean it a little bit. So I'm rinsing it a little bit. The organic compound should stay in there because the organic compound is not soluble in water. So I'm just rinsing it a little bit. I don't know if I have anything left in here at the end. I have a couple big boiling stones. The compound itself is white. Okay, it's vacuuming out. Now, then we usually rinse it with a little bit of dichloromethane, and this is a squeeze bottle of dichloromethane. Dichloromethane will dissolve the bromine. Now, I mainly set this up so I could show you a technique I use. Usually at this point, the solid, which is up here, is very sticky and goopy, and it's really hard to get off the filter paper and we have to recrystallize the solid. And it's really hard to transfer the solid from that, that piece of filter paper into an Erlenmeyer to do a recrystallization. So I use a method I call making an omelet, and I'm going to show you how to do that. All right, so I'm taking my sample off. The best way to take your sample off is to vent the rubber adapter. And what I do is I just pull it away from the flask and I let the air in and get the flask off. And again, this, this needs to be rinsed a little bit more, but there's some solid on the top of that paper and I'd be very hard pressed to scrape it off. So what I do is I make an omelet. So I take the whole paper out like this and the compound that's on it and I lay it on a piece of filter paper and there's a little more compound right there which I'm gonna take off. I've gotten really everything out of the filter because I took the paper out. I didn't try to scrape it, all right? 
then this is how I make an omelet. You know how an omelet, a lot of omelets are three, they're, they're divided by three, some are two, but I always make an omelet divided by three. I take, I use two, two spatulas, I push down on it with one of the spatulas, I flip the paper over, over this way, then I hold it down and I flip the paper over the other way. Okay, I call that making an omelet. When I get my omelet made, I just pick it up because I'm on the outside of the paper now. And I stick it into the flask where I'm going to do the recrystallization. Notice I'm putting the paper and the compound into the, into the flask. Okay, next thing I do is I'm going to add ethanol to it. Now what you have to do with this is add the minimum amount of ethanol to dissolve it. All right. So I'm just going to do the beginning of this, but what, I'm, what you would do is you would put a little bit of ethanol in, maybe one or two milliliters max. I'm doing this very rapidly here. And what you do is you let it boil. And the product, the brominated transdynamic acid, is very soluble in hot ethanol. So what happens is the vapor will go up and down. It'll hit the paper, up and down, hitting the paper. And the compound will dissolve off the paper. Now, to be honest, now that I'm doing this, I probably would prefer to do this in a 25 milliliter flask. But again, the idea behind this is take the whole paper out, put it down, fold it up in three, put it into the recrystallization flask, add the solvent to it, a little bit of solvent, bring it to boiling. When it boils, all the compound will dissolve off the paper, and at the end of the procedure, once you get it all in solution, you can just pull the paper out, as I just did there, okay? And all the compound will be in solution. That's the idea behind the recrystallization. Again, the technique I was showing you is what I call, in my vernacular, making an omelet. Okay, so I hope this helps you. I'll see you in class.